a super fun craft for you today, which is making a luminary globe. So all you need is just a few supplies and you can do this at home or you can stop by the library and pick up one of these free kits that have all the supplies in them for you to get started at home with this project. So the very first thing we're gonna do is take your balloon and you gotta blow up the balloon. Okay, so we'll do that first. Get out my daughter. Perfect. You don't want to blow it up too big. Just about this size is just about the right size for this. So then once you have it blown up, you need to tie it in a knot, which is sometimes a little tricky, but I got it. So got my knot. And then the next step is grab your teeny little cup here, and we're going to put the balloon in the cup like this with the knot side down. And we're just going to take a couple pieces of tape. Any kind of tape will do. I have scotch tape handy. I'm gonna turn it this way to tape it though. And just about like, I don't know, two, three pieces of tape to just make sure you can um, really tape that cup to the bottom of your balloon. And there we go. So now it looks like a balloon with a little hat on it. So then we're gonna just set that like this. Perfect. And this little dish here, I know you can't really see it and it's clear anyway, but what I have is the paste. So the way we're gonna create this luminary is by doing some paper mache. And so we have a paste that's just glue and water. So two parts glue to one part water. So in here, I just put a fourth cup of glue and a half a cup of water. And honestly, I just use my finger to like mix it around so it's all mixed good. And that is good to go. Um, apron is good idea for this craft. It is a little bit messy and also using like a placemat or a messy mat or a tray or something because yeah, you're gonna get a little bit messy and your hands are gonna get a little bit messy and a little bit sticky too. So the way we're gonna start is we're just going to, the other thing you need is your strips of paper. So you just take one of your strips of paper and dip it into your glue mixture. And when you pull it out of the glue, lift it up and then use your fingers to go like this. So that way you don't have too much glue on there. Because if you get too much glue on there, it's going to be a real mess. But then just take your strip and carefully put it on your balloon here. Just use your fingers to like try to smooth down as many lumps and bumps and things like that as you can. And this is kind of the part that takes a little bit, but yeah, so there's our first strip and you're just gonna keep going like that. So I'm gonna dip another strip in here. Wet, lift it up, get that excess off so it's not too much. And whoops, let me turn this guy around. Put another strip. I'm putting it right next to my other one, and you can see that I'm making sure that they overlap just a little bit because I don't want to see any of the balloon by the time we're done. We want it to be completely covered up. So we'll just keep going like this. And just keep going and remembering to, as I said, it can get a little bit messy. And if you have a grown-up or a brother or a sister or a friend nearby having somebody to hold this while you do it, hey, that's pretty helpful. So.
So you get the idea. What you want to do is cover the entire balloon. And you also want to really do a good job at this bottom part. Because when you're done with your lantern, um, you're going to have this cup on the end still, at least part of it. And that's what's going to hold um, the string for your lantern. So that's going to be important. And so when you get down to the bottom, you actually want to cover at least about the bottom half of the cup with the strips as well. Okay. And just keep smoothing it down with your fingers. It looks messy at first, but when you get done, it's going to be great. I almost have one side done. Getting close there. Maybe a little, a few of your strips move just a little bit, and I can see a little bit of the balloon, but that's okay. I'm just going to take another strip, and I'll just put it right over that little spot, and it will be just fine. Okay. So, we're about halfway done, um, and this is what it looks like. When we get all the way done, obviously the whole thing will be covered. Once you get to that point, what you have to do is let it dry. It is very, very important to let it dry completely before you go on to the next step okay um, I would say give it an entire 24 hours of letting it dry so I'm gonna put this um, aside because I have one that's already dried so I can show you what the next step is gonna be like okay, we'll set that there but once you have let it dry for 24 hours this is what it's gonna look like it's pretty hard actually. So you can see it's completely covered in the white paper here. And so the next step after this is gonna be, oh my hands are kind of messy, let me come off here, is you're going to cut the top of the cup off. So just take your scissors and just poke like a little hole in the bottom here with your scissors there. And very carefully, and if you need help, Make sure you grab a grown-up, okay? I'm going to cut off the bottom part of this cup. Cutting off just the bottom half of the cup here. Okay? Just like that. And I'm just going to these little pieces here. And then you can see inside there's your balloon. But we're gonna, we are gonna pop the balloon, but not yet, because the balloon is adding a lot of like strength to this right now. And so let what we're going to do a little bit more paper mache, and it's helpful to keep the balloon in there for now until we get um, our tissue paper on. So that's the next step. So you'll need some tissue paper. Um, you can either just like rip it into some smaller pieces. I have a whole bunch of like different color squares. Whatever way you want to do it is fine. You could at this point like, get a paintbrush, um, or you can just use your hands. And I'm just gonna use my hands because that seems like what works better for me. And I'm. But you could use a paintbrush and I'm just going to put some of this glue that's in my little dish here. I'm just using my fingers obviously and then start putting on my tissue paper. You could just put it all on however you want, it's like really random. You could actually cut shapes out of your tissue paper if you want. If you wanted to cut some stars or some flowers or any kind of shape you wanted to cut and then you could glue those on. 
Um, you could also decorate it just using like some markers or if you have some paint at home and you'd rather paint it instead of doing more um, paper mache, you could do that too. So there's no, you know, there's no wrong way to do this. It's your lantern and you can design it however you want. You'll just want to make sure that as you're putting your tissue paper down, if that's the way you decide to do, that you cover all the white space and then just use your fingers to keep smoothing out any bumps or lumps or anything like that as you go along. And just like before when we were doing um, the white strips, it takes a little bit of time and it's gonna, it's a little bit messy and it takes a little bit of time, but it, it's fun. And we'll just keep going along like this. I'm going for a random design here. So I didn't I didn't really think it out beforehand I beforehand beforehand. I just started um just taking them all on and that's fine too. So we'll take a bit of time, but it's already looking pretty. Look at that. I don't think there's any way that you can go wrong because whatever you do, it looks nice on here. Just need more glue, so I keep just using my finger to add a little bit more glue. And we keep going along. So it'll look like this, right? And then once you get all the way done, Again, it's very, very important once you have this completely covered again, including all the way around here, it's very important to let it dry. Give it another whole 24 hours to dry. That's what you want to do. And once you have let it dry for the complete 24 hours, I have one that's already done, it's going to look like this. So that looks pretty great. You can see that um, there's no little pieces sticking up. I really put a whole bunch of glue on here and then I just let it dry for 24 hours and now um, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. But before um, it's all the way done, remember I told you we do get to pop the balloon. So we'll pretend that this one is all the way done, right? And you see on the inside there's the balloon just want to take your take your scissors and just stick your scissors in there and pop the balloon carefully kind of just pop a little hole in there or make a little cut or you can pull the end of your balloon out and just cut the knot off too and that also works oh i hear the air coming out okay so I popped the balloon, but I want to be really gentle as I'm taking it out because it is actually stuck to the sides. And if you pull it out really fast and hard, it can make a dent in your globe. And we don't want to, we want to try to avoid doing that. But so I'm going to just kind of carefully get it out and ta-da! So if you did pull your balloon out really fast and it did make a dent, that's okay. No worries. Just grab your scissors or paintbrush or something you can stick inside here. And wherever your dent is, you're just going to use the end of your scissors to just push it out and it will be fine. So, so, so no worries there. So let's see. And then the very last part. So once you have the balloons, you have, this is all done. We're pretending it's all done and looking like this one already, right? And we pop the balloon, hole puncher. You're gonna punch a hole very carefully in each side of that cup there. And then you'll need some string or ribbon or whatever you got lying around that's ribbon or string like. And you'll just take that and you'll put it through both of those holes. Right. So it's just like that. So that way you'll be able to hang it up. So just tie a little knot in the end part there. Just like this, right? So you could hang it around your house somewhere. I wouldn't hang it outside because the weather will really mess it up. And this is our finished one. So we still have to obviously finish a little bit of paper mache there. But when you're all the way done, it's going to look like this. And then, and then the fun part is you could take either a, a little tea light candle, one of those battery candles, or I like a glow stick. So you just got to, you know how they are. You got to crack them really good. We won't be able to tell in here so much because it's really light in here but we'll just 
I'm just gonna stick, actually maybe I will fasten it in a circle. Okay, and I'm gonna just squeeze it and put it inside here. So then you would be able to hang it up and it will glow just a little bit with that glow stick. Or if you have a tea light or something like that, that'll give you a little bit brighter glow than a glow stick. And then I would invite you to join us for the 2023 Illuminite Walk. So you bring your lantern and it's going to be in the um, plaza at the river walk downtown mount vernon and when you get there they will actually have tea lights and um like the sticks so you could put your lantern on a stick to be able to carry it and everybody will um kind of have a little parade around the downtown um river walk with their luminaries and let's see i forgot what day it is let me look oh yeah so that's going to be on Friday, January 27th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Community event free. Bring the luminary globe that you made and join us for Illuminate Downtown. So I hope you guys, I hope this, well, I hope this video was helpful to you if you are making a luminary and I hope to see you at Illuminate this year. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>